Okay, good morning class. Uh, today we will be talking about uh, three sets Venn diagram. Uh, we last uh, last class we talked about two sets Venn diagram. So today we will be talking about three sets Venn diagram. So the three sets Venn diagram is just like the two set Venn diagram, but there are, there are a little bit uh, differences in them. So now let's look at an example. They said in a class of in a class exam, 22 offered mathematics, 20 offered biology. 17 offers physics if 11 offer both mathematics and biology 8 offers both biology and physics 7 offers both physics and mathematics and uh, 5 offered all the three subjects the first question says draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the information and B says find the number of students that offered A math only B physics only C. Uh, two of the subjects. Next says at most two subjects. And the last says at least two subjects. So now look at our Venn diagram. Whenever you are doing three set Venn diagram, this part is always the first place you are going to insert your value. That is the one that offer all the three. Let's say this black one, this black one stands for mathematics. Let's say this black one stands for mathematics. Let's say this one stands for biology, the red viral. And the green stands for physics. So now, the first thing you are going to insert is this place. Those that offer all the three subjects. Now, how many offered all the three subjects is five. So you put it first so after putting this then now you go to where there are two 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 that's what you insert second the first thing to insert in a three set then venn diagram is this and then this ones before you insert these ones so now to get these ones you go where they say mass and biology this is ma this is this black bio is mass the red one is biology so let's go to where mass and biology is they say that if 11 offers both mass and biology, 11 offers both mass and biology. So mass and biology is 11. So this is the reason why you have to put the, uh, the, the intersection of the three first, this place first. Because when you are putting these ones, you'll be removing this five from it. So since they say mass and biology is 11, so you need to remove five from 11. If you remove 5 from 11, you have 6. So this is the 6. Now in this place, the next is, they say uh, 8 offers both biology and physics. Where is biology and physics? This is biology and physics. So they said 8. So you need to remove this 5 from it. So you have 3. And the next one says 7 offers both physics and mathematics. Physics and mathematics, they say is what? 7. So we need to remove this 5 from that 7 so that now we have 2. So this is after inserting this. And this is when you now go back to the beginning of the question. In a class exam, 22 offer mathematics. So mass. This is mathematics. 22. And they said 20 offers biology. So biology is 20. And then 17 offered physics, so physics equals to 17. So now to get these places, you you come, look at it. Mass is 22. So this whole black cycle belongs to mass. So any number that is in this black cycle, you need to remove it from 22. So this six is there, this five is there, and this 12 is there. So we need to remove it from 22. So 6 plus 5 plus, uh, okay, don't worry. This is the Venn diagram to, rep uh, to represent the information. This is what the question says. Draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the information. You have just draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the information. So if you like, you can say A here, put here as B, and then put here as C. So now, the second question says, find the number of students that offers mass only mass only is a 
option B. So the purple that offer mask only is A. So A plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 must be equal to what? 22. Because I said the whole of this black is mass. So since the whole of this black by a pen here is mass, so this 22, everything in this place should, should make pick up 22. So that means if I add A, add this, this and this, it should give me what? 22. So now in that case, if I add all this, I should have 22. So I can say A plus 6 plus 5 is what? Is 11. 11 plus 2 is 13. So A plus 13 is equals to 22. So now A should be equals to subtract 13 from both sides. 22 minus 13. So our A should be equal to 22 minus 13 will give you 9. So mass only should be what? 9. The second one says physics only. Physics only. So that means if I add everything in this green, should be equal to 17. So physics only is C. So that means if I say C plus 2 plus 5 plus 3 should give me what? 17. So I should say C. So we can say C. plus 2 plus 5 plus 3 is equals to 17 so c plus 2 plus 5 7 7 plus 3 10 is equals to 17 so now you take this one to the other side so c is equals to 17 minus 10 so c is equals to what 7 So that is physics only. So they did not ask us to find biology only, but let us find it. Let us find biology only. So to get biology only, we consider this red viral. So we see B plus 6 plus 5 plus 3 is 20. So we can say B plus 5 plus 6 plus 3 is equals to 20 so b plus 5 plus 6 is 11 11 plus 3 is 14 is equals to 20 so b should be equals to 20 minus 14 so b is equals to 6 so that is the people that offer biology only so you can see this is how you find all those ones so now the next question says two of the subject you go back to your venn diagram whenever they say two of the subject two of the subject when they say two of the subject there is a very good necessity there it simply means those intersection of two you can see this place is green and black that means mass and what mass and physics this is red and black that is mass and biology this is green and red that is what biology and physics but here if you check this is green red and black so there are three here so you don't consider it consider those ones that are two two which is here here and here you can see they are two so in that case we can see uh, two of the subjects the subject two of the subjects so it will be what and what S two six and three so it will be two plus six plus three which is equal to two plus six eight eight plus three eleven so now that's two subjects. Now they say at most two. At most two means two downward. So you can 
whenever you hear the word at most two just know that this one is only this one that is not among but all of them will be among it means from two downward when they say at most two two downward at most two two downward if i say pay, pay at most one thousand naira, that means the highest you should pay is one thousand naira. anything below one thousand you can pay but if i say at least one thousand that means it means one thousand naira above so whenever they i say at most two it means from two downward so this is intersection of two and this is one 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 so two and one are applied so that means i will have I will have A plus 1, which is B plus C plus, now we have 2, 2. This is 1, 1, 1. We have written them. Then 2, 2. This place, this place, and this place, which are what? 2 plus 6 plus 3. So what is my A? I found my A the other time to be what? 9 plus I found my B to be 6, 6 plus, I found my C to be 7, plus 7, now plus 2, plus 6, plus 3, which is equal to 9 plus 6, 15, 15 plus 7, 22, 22 plus 2, 24, 24 plus 6, 30, 30 plus 3, 33. So you have 33. So this uh, this is mine. So now the last question said at least two. So get the difference between the previous question and this question. This one, the first one say at most. So if I say uh, how much should I pay him? You say mm, at least one thousand. So that is the lowest you should pay is one thousand. So you can give if but if you have more than one thousand, you can give him. You can give him two thousand, three thousand. So it means two upward at most two two downward at least two two upward so now that means two upward so this is two 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 then three that's all so it will be two plus six plus three plus five so now it will be two plus three plus six plus five which is equal to 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 6, 11. 11 plus 5, 16. So this is uh, the at least. So at least, at most, you should not get them confused. At least from that number upward. At least 1. So from 1 upward at least two from two upward at least at most are uh, one one downward at most two two downward at most three three downward so you should be able to differentiate between this at least and at most because that's where students get confused now this is where we are going to end our lecture so i wish you all the best Once again, so, and um, our next lesson is going to be solving past questions, inshallah. Thank you all for listening. I'm very grateful. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.